Well, aerobics is just uh, one of several ways you can exercise. Exercise can be used for rest and relaxation, number one. Figure contrary muscle building, number two. Cardiovascular pulmonary conditioning. All three have merit, but only one has the potential for longing your life, and that's aerobic conditioning. We've all heard the saying, no pain, no gain. And if there was ever a place where that's true, it's at a gym. People pushing themselves to the max is a common occurrence. But here at the Cooper Center in Dallas, just past the ellipticals and treadmills, Orville Rogers has been pumping iron for longer than most people have been alive. He's an example for older people for sure to show what you can do as you get older. Because most people are 99 years of age, and I mean, if they're still alive, they're quite sedentary. They even can get out and have most of them in a wheelchair or walking or quite such, whatever it may be. But he's shown that you can be vibrantly active and enjoy life the fullest. So he had to slow down at all. At 99 years young, Orville's vim and vigor has caught the eye of many, but it's none other than the father of aerobics himself, Dr. Kenneth Cooper, who set him on his fast path to fitness. Orville is a phenomenon. <laughs> One of my favorite friends, I've known him since the early 1970s. Of course, he read the book back in 1968, 1969, started exercising, and has been exercising regularly since then. Well, I saw this book on the rack, aerobic by a colonel in the Air Force. Hey, I gotta read that. So I picked it up and I started reading it over the breakfast. I finished it that day and the next day I started running. That was uh, 49 years ago. Since then, Orville's retired from a career flying planes in the Air Force and for Braniff Airlines. And he's now a full-time runner. When did you start running marathons? About five years after Dr. Cooper came here. Well, I was probably about 56, 57. How far you've flown, how far have you run? I've flown 38,000 hours. In my total running career, I've run a little over 42,000 miles. 42,000 yeah. miles? That's around the world a time and a half. And I'm still the only man in the world that's run a 10-minute mile after age 90. And I'm still the only man in the world that's run a 15-minute mile after the age of 95. So officially, I've held 13 world records. Oh, only 13? Only 13. So what's left for the man who owns just about every master's level world indoor track record there is? Well, he's taken a page from his mentor and decided to write his very own book titled The Running Man. It's a compilation of my life emphasizing the running aspect, the spiritual aspect, my walk with God, and uh, my stewardship. Orville Rogers is quick to point out that with the writing of his book, he hasn't penned the conclusion to his story. No, this isn't a chapter coming to an end. It's simply the start of a new one. One that begins the day he turns 100. I'll be 100 November the 28th this year. Will you can continue to run? Of course. Their records are kept in five-year increments. So when I was 90, I was in the 90-94 group, then 95-99. When I'm 100, hopefully, in November this year, I'll be in the 100 to 104 group. Are there any records in that group? Uh, only two that I know of. Are you going to beat both of those records? I hope so. <laughs> That's a goal. That's a goal. Take one look at Orville Rogers. At 99, he's still going strong. And you might ask yourself, what's the secret? Well, Orville found it in the pages of a book nearly 50 years ago. And with almost half a century of maintaining a steady level of physical activity, he's convinced that people don't stop running because they get old. They get old 
because they stop running. I found that people that don't retire, they keep working, exercise, enjoy a discipline in their life. Is that what Orville's done? Oh yeah, now he's retired from flying airplanes, but he is very, very active, very busy in what he's doing. So he is not, he is refired, I can say that for sure. I love the challenge. A good part of it is proving that I can still run at an older age as a challenge to other people to keep on, never give up, as Winston Churchill said.